All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, it's been a while since my last video. You can see right here. Um, the last one I made was on the 23rd. I actually got a new place, and uh, you know, you know all the moving stuff that comes with getting a new place. So, um, in the future, though, I got this really cool standing desk off Amazon, and I'm gonna have a, a neat little computer setup going on. Um, and I thought maybe I could share that with you guys. You know, seeing as if you're interested in coding videos, maybe you're interested in technology videos as well. Maybe we can add a little bit of those in this channel as well. Anyway, um, today I was going to make up a follow-up video. Uh, maybe not a follow-up, maybe like a part two of the last video that I made. So if you watched the last video, we talked about how to find styles in XAML and WPF applications. So, um, and we said it's kind of like the equivalency of cascading style sheets cascades is it cascading or cascade it doesn't matter CSS uh, and HTML right we define something in CSS and we can use that and and the HTML without having to redefine it every single time that is kind of the kind of the the short story behind that um, so we did that with each individual page but I wanted to make a video and I wanted to talk about how do we change the default of all of these different things so let's say all of your labels, for instance, this is just an example, but let's say all of our labels, we want to make a font size of 30, and we want them to be bold, and we want the background uh, to be like some blue or something like that. How would we do that without, um, you know, changing the style in each individual label? How can we make that app wide change um, so we don't have to define it each and every time? Uh, so before we did a page wide, so I, I made um, resources on, on this window, just for this window, no other ones. Uh, now I want to kind of look at the bigger picture. How do we add that to the app? And to do that, we actually go uh, to our app.saml. And you can go there in your Solution Explorer. Um, and I have this add-on in my Visual Studio. And whenever you save, um, it kind of cleans stuff up. And unfortunately, uh, sometimes that can be a pain so I gotta change this to this so we can put tags inside of the application so right here we're going to do something and we're going to add application resources so if you remember uh, in the last video we did window resources now we're going to do application resources as you can see I just hit control s just by um, have it and it changed it to that since there's nothing in it so let's go ahead and close the tag um, and let's go ahead and define a, a new style. So we're going to create a style. And let's make its target type a label. Okay. Ah, it does that every time. I keep forgetting. I'm going to have to break that habit um, sooner or later. <laughs> okay. And here we can just add setters. And um, let's make its... Uh, property, what did I say? Font size, font size, and then value is equal to 30. Uh, let's make it bold, so the property would be font weight. And let's make its value bold. Close that tag. And let's do one more. I think I said let's make the background color something. So let's do property, I, is it background? Yeah, should be. Let's see. Value. Um, Let's do this aquamarine. I don't actually know what that looks like. It's going to be interesting. So now we have these application resources for the target type label. Notice how we don't have a uh, key indicator. Um, we we can just this this goes to any uh, label. Uh, we don't have to place a key um, when we declare a label now. So let's go look at our main. Uh, window.saml and see if that changed anything. So now you can notice I had this label here before. If you didn't notice it before, you can you can go back and know I'm, that I'm not a liar. But I had this label and it said this is a label and nothing more. I don't have any styles inside of it. As you can see in this window, I don't have any resources with styles. Um, there's absolutely nothing. Now if I go ahead and create another label, label. And I put this is another label. It has the same exact style. And notice now, this is all application-wide. No matter when or where, 
as long as it's in this this project um, I declare a label by default it's going to go ahead and get these different styles so um, that is one way you can kind of change up the default style of different elements let's say you don't like the way the default button looks and you just want one button way and nothing else uh, you can go ahead and do that in the app.saml you can go style target type button and add uh, what you would typically do in each individual button and then make that application wide and go ahead and set it that way so this is like a part two of the other video I've been meaning to do this for a while but um, I haven't had the chance so I figured there's no time like the present let's go ahead and do something like this so hopefully this answers maybe some questions you might have had in the last video if you didn't already search for the answer in the meantime um, but I'll continue to go ahead and keep making uh, videos hopefully on a more regular basis uh, now that I'm, I'm moved I've unpacked some I still have plenty more to unpack but um, the goal is to be a little bit more consistent but anyway thanks for watching guys um, Hope you learned something new, and uh, as always, we'll keep learning together. That's the whole point of this channel. So, appreciate every one of you, and I will see you in the next one.